Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a look at the very final match of the season. So we've completed the whole season um, and we are in 16th at the moment. Uh, we still have a possibility to, uh, fin to finish 15th. Uh, we probably have to win the next match to f for that to happen but We'll see. It doesn't really matter at this point where we finish because the main thing is we've avoided re relegation by quite a lot, so it's been an achievement for us. Now, in the previous episode, we played against, I think, also, um, and then since then we've improved things slightly. But uh, yeah, quite happy with with where we are. The only thing is, a few of our players decided that they that they want to leave us at the end of the season. Will Sage and Hosey. Josh Hosey is um, two of them. Alex O'Reilly, I think, is also wanting to leave. So those three players we're, we're going to have to uh, find replacements for in the next season. But that's okay. Finance-wise, we are doing terrible. So we're hoping for some sort of miracle in the summer for things to get back on track finance-wise. We still don't have any clauses up for sale yet. I'm just waiting for some of these to go through. I think this one will potentially be an, a quite a good one. Oh, maybe I take that back. They haven't renewed his contract yet, at least. So I take that back. Yeah, I don't know. Um, these aren't very much money. This one isn't very much money. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know which one will be useful then. Here in Tabot is no longer really all that useful to us because we already sold the clauses that would make us money. So I don't, I don't really know where money is going to come from, but yeah, we're going to need some money. Right, let's play this last match and then we'll take a look at the season re uh, review. So for this match, I put on the pitch the all the players that did uh, the best in the last five games. I didn't really take into much consideration the um, the fitness levels because at this point it's not really all that concerning because this is this is the last game anyway. So they're all gonna go on holiday. <laughs> And as you can hear, I'm still got that nasty cold around, so I still admit a little bit nosy. Not nosy, sorry, throaty. Um, yeah, so still working on that. Now, looking ahead to the next season, um, I don't think we'll be able to recycle many of our youth. One of them we've already recycled, so he's our backup uh, attacking midfielder. The youth players that came through this season were okay. Um, a couple of them look really promising, so hopefully in the future they'll be able to play some first team football. As far as the youth team, they are, I think, fourth of the third division they were f they were first for a, a while uh, sort of kind of battling first second uh, and now they dropped a little bit they went quite far in the uh, youth cup though i think they reached the quarter final um, and then they lost against the big ones we'll take a look at their schedule in a bit Apologies, I really have to sneeze as well, so hopefully, if I sneeze, um, you won't notice it because I'll be able to mute myself. Right, um, let's put in a sapo song. We are going to need some gold from him, although part of me thinks we might need to sell him this summer and get some better strikers for next season but well, I guess we'll just see what kind of players are available to us in the summer we're gonna have we yeah we're gonna have a hard time we're gonna struggle to um, make deals because of our financial situation at the moment
Antoniazzi. And McBride. This is the young guy. From my youth. And then Doyle. This is uh, just a little bit. Doyle's been doing, doing really well for us. Although I think he's coming close to retirement, maybe. Dolan is retiring in the summer, and I thought maybe there was another one, but I can't remember who that is. Right, I completely forgot about their last sub, so let's sort that out. We're gonna put in. Oh, actually, I don't wanna take you out, really. Oh, why not? Let's give the young, the young player. Oh, actually, he's not that good. No, let's undo that. Um, what would be the options? I guess I could put Antoniazzi there and then put you in. Okay, so we didn't manage to pull any points from this last match, but that's okay. Let's take a look. the review. I'm very sorry, I'm very close to sneezing right now. So, apologies if it goes a little bit weird. Uh, right, here we are, season review. Uh, nothing interesting to see there. Okay, this is quite interesting. Newport, Newport, and Brown. Just a shame he's just a lonely. <coughs> oh, thank you, cold. Come on. Quite a lot of sneezing in this episode, I can see now. Right, so, fan player of the season, Matthew Horn. Young player of the season, Matthew Horn. Signing of the season, Ryan Sweeney, the, the centre back. Oh, uh, top goal scorer, the Sapo song. Most assists, Ajani. Most player of the match, a Sapo song. Okay, so that, none of this is very um, surprising. Oh, here we go. So we're going to negotiate this. Um, I always try and remove all the demands just to make life easier for ourselves. They might not let me get away with any of it, but. Oh, come on. Okay, right, so we're going to have to sign under 23 players for the first team. Alright, cool. Now we know. Let's take a look at... Oh, they're second. They can still be champions? Maybe? Uh, that's what it looks to say. So if you look at their, go away advice, if you look at their fixtures, yeah, they have one game left against Newport. If Walsall loses their match, then they can be champions, I suppose. As far as the cup matches, they didn't do the FA, oh yes, they did, they did the FA Cup and they lost straight away, but they did the Division 3 Cup South. And they went... Uh, okay, okay. Semi-final. They went to the semi-final and then they lost. And has the play final been played? Yeah, Newcastle won the final. So yeah, so the, the youth aren't doing too bad. Um, quite a good squad at the moment. Some promising players. And I'm hoping that soon we need to progress further at the leagues. But soon, hopefully, the um, Anno 23s will also have a competition to play because at the moment they're only playing friendlies. <laughs> right, so after all that sneezing, let's make uh, some sort of final remarks to the squad. I think if I go back and look at the expectations from the board, fight bravely. Okay, <laughs> so we probably want to be down here. Uh, 
Um, either this one. Oh, I'm kind of curious about this one down here. It says, I want to take a few moments to mention that over the off season, we'll be looking to bring some new faces into the squad that fit in with the club's objectives. Competition for places will be tougher as a result. Um, I might go with this one because I think it's true. <coughs> but... Actually, how much true is it? Because oh, I don't know. Uh, this one down here says uh, it'll be a long. It's been a long season, and I hope you have a good break. You're we're going to need to come back fully rested because I think we're going to be in a relegation battle next time around, and you're all going to need to be at your best to stay up. Right. So maybe I think I'll go with this one because they might take this one badly so let's do that and i'm not going to make any promises and off you go let's go on holiday now oh here we go some exciting news oh they haven't changed our budget too much okay so it's still a similar budget to last season and they've increased our wage budget a tiny smidge Okay, so we have successfully raised, uh, but that's, the, we already had that, so I'm not sure what that's all about, but yeah. Okay, so I'm going to request it again, uh, even though we don't really need to, oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, I didn't mean to press that, that button. I shouldn't have pressed that button. So I asked to increase and then I asked to decrease. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Okay, I might have done something bad. Um, but we hope nothing bad comes of it. Um, right. So, I was going to do something else, but I forgot it, what it was now. I got distracted with all that button clicking. We... Oh yes, I was going to release the low knees because we don't need them anymore. So, let's go here, if we can. Oh, we can't. Okay. Sometimes that we ha you have to be in the... Um, um, kind of the transfer window for them to be released. Sometimes you don't. I think it just depends on... Actually, I'm not sure what it depends on, really. Right, so... I'm gonna just see... If we get any more developments after the playoffs are played by the big boys, uh, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I need to keep an eye on the playoffs just to see. Okay, they've rejected everything. Great, that's what I wanted because I didn't want, especially this one, to be accepted. Right, uh, anything else we can ask for? Um, I'm going to ask, even though I know it's going to get rejected, I might as well just keep asking. Uh, senior affiliate we really need, for money reasons. But, they aren't interested for some reason. Um, expanding the stadium, that would be nice, even though I know we don't have money for it. Let's see how our youth team does for this final match. Nope, I don't want to work on loans just yet. Oh, they lost. Okay. So they finished fourth overall in the end. Also crowned champions of the under-23s Division 3. Okay. Sorry, I meant under-18s Division 3. Right, let's have a look at the competitions just to see... Okay, so they haven't played the playoffs yet. We'll keep moving things through. Keep space barring until we get where we want to go. Just to see if we get any sort of, you know, prizes or anything like that. 
not sure if there are like many prizes for this league. I'm not entirely sure actually how this league works. Let's have a look at Skybet League 2. Uh, rules. Nope. Nothing at all. Sometimes teams get some sort of solidarity payment. Uh, that would help us quite a bit. Alright, so we just had some news about our sponsorship. We have new sponsors. So if we look at finances, sponsorship. So that's what we're currently having every year. That has boosted our finances a tiny bit. But it has, hasn't really made a dent, to be fair. I have a slightly increased scouting budget by a couple of K. Um, other than that, I think we're going to have to wait until season tickets are sold for us to see any sort of boost to our finances in any real way. But still, I think we're quite a lot under and we don't have the capacity to kind of come back from that. Um, unless we unless we make some really big transfers, outgoing transfers, I don't think um, things are going to change all that much. We need the board to invest, really. Okay, it looks like we've had a few more playoffs. Solidarity payment. Okay, so yeah, so there we go. So there's the half a million solidarity payment. Again, it doesn't help us all of that much. We're still 80, uh, sorry, 800 K okay, under. Okay, so four players get promoted, and I think that that was it. That the solidarity p payment was the final thing um, that we were waiting for. So these teams got promoted: Colchester, Southend, Swindon, and Grimsby. Sutton and Barrow got demoted. Uh, next season we will, if I can get to the league table, we'll have Oldham and Carlisle playing in. Our division and we will also have if I can get to it we will also have Salford, Cheltenham, Stevenage and Doncaster. Okay so it's gonna change a little bit uh, hopefully we can make some money and some transfers that will help us to kind of secure a better position next next season i think i don't think we'll be ready to go for playoffs yet next season so we might have to spend three seasons or so in this league to really get a good team going but that's going to be all for today thanks so much for sticking around until the end and enduring my sneezes thanks for the support uh, give it a like if you've enjoyed it and also follow um you can also catch up the previous episodes on the playlist um, and you can check out Patreon, and you also can check out all of the links in the description as well. Thanks so much for watching, take care, I'll see you next time, bye.